Hello everyone, welcome to yet another interesting video where I'll be discussing a few pointers on how to save arrays and objects to local storage using JavaScript. But before that, do you know what local storage is? Local storage allows developers to store and retrieve data in the browser. The data is stored in the form of key value pairs and will not expire, which means that the data will be present even if the tab or the browser window is closed. Remember that the local storage only stores strings in the form of key value pairs. That brings us to the main point of this video. How do you store arrays and objects? Well, to save arrays and objects with the help of local storage API using JavaScript, there are two methods. First, we need to stringify the arrays or objects using json.stringify method. And secondly, when we need to retrieve the value, we can use json.parse method. But why the hassle to stringify and parse the data? It is simple. Since local storage can only store strings, so before you store the arrays in the local storage, you need to convert it into a string. And when you retrieve the array from local storage, because you will get a string, you'll need to convert it to an array if you want to manipulate it, isn't it? For example, consider this object. We have product data which has P code and P name. This is an object literal where you have key and value. To save this object to the local storage, first we need to convert the product data object into a JSON string. For that, we'll use the json.stringify method and pass the object as an argument. So it can be done like this. So I'll say const json obj, that is the json object object, where I'll just say json.stringify and I'm going to pass the product data. Okay, now let me also add console log and let's display json obj. Now let me run the code and here you can see the output where we have converted the product data object into a string. Now what do we have to do? We have to store the items. So we'll use the set item method of the local storage and pass the key name as the first argument to the method and the JSON object as the second argument to the method. So let me add that also. I'll say local storage dot set item product data json obj remember the set item function is used to store items in local storage and as mentioned before we must stringify objects before we store them in the local storage and not stringify the object will result in an error all right now we have stored the data what's next we need to retrieve the data for that, first we can use the getItem method on the local storage API and then convert the string to a valid object using json.parse method. The getItem function is used to access or retrieve the data from the local storage. It takes in a key as a parameter and then extracts the required value from the local storage. So to get the string, we will write const str, I'll say local storage.getItem and the object name is product data. Also, let me write the console log str and let's run this. And finally, to convert the string into valid object, I'll write const past object is equal to json.parse and I'll pass the str, the string. Let's also try to console log past object and run. And you can see that we have successfully stored the object and retrieved from the local storage API. Also, since I mentioned arrays too, the process is the same for them as well. So in this example, you can see that I have written an array num values and also passed the key array. Now, when I run this code, notice how the array is converted, stored and retrieved. Also, there are two more methods which are used in local storage remove item and clear the remove item method is used to delete an item from local storage it does require a key as a parameter like for example i can say local storage dot remove item the product data which is a key or let's say when we use the array we had karr that is key array this is how it removes the specific item 
and the clear method is used to clear all values stored in local storage it does not require any parameter as it's going to remove everything from the local storage so in our example if i write local storage dot clear after the set item method and run you can see that the output returns null because it has cleared everything after that so this was all about how to save arrays and objects to local storage if you have any question regarding the video let me know in the comments section thank you